Good morning, dear children. Let's do chapter exercise of lesson four, A Truly Beautiful Mind from Beehive for class nine. This lesson is based on the biography of the great scientist Albert Einstein. Turn to page number 50, thinking about the text. Question 1. Here are some headings for paragraphs in the text. Write the number of them, paragraph, for each title against the heading. The first one is done for you. First is Einstein's equation that's in paragraph 9. You can try out this question by yourself. Pause the video right now. Try out the question by yourself and after completing this question, verify your answer with my slide. Second, Einstein meets his future wife. Let me just read out all the titles for you. Third, the making of the violinist. Fourth, Meleva and Einstein's mother. Fifth, a letter that launched the arms race. Sixth, a desk drawer full of ideas. Seventh, marriage and divorce. Find out from which paragraph these titles are taken out from. Now verify your answer here. You can note down this answer or the paragraph numbers in the book itself. You need not do in the notebook. First one, Einstein's equation paragraph 9 is already given in the book. Next, Einstein meets his future wife, paragraph 7. The making of a violinist, paragraph 3. Maleva and Einstein's mother, paragraph 10. A letter that launched the arms race, paragraph 15. A desk drawer full of ideas, paragraph 8. Marriage and divorce. Paragraph 11. Question 2. Who had these opinions about Einstein? This also you can mark in the book itself with pencil. He was boring. This was the opinion of Einstein's playmates. He was stupid and would never succeed in life. Einstein's headmaster. Third one. He was a freak. Einstein's mother. From question 3 onwards, you can note down in your notebook. Write neatly. Question 3. Explain what the responses for the following are. First, Einstein leaving the school in Munich for good. Answer. Einstein left the school in Munich for good. Because he disliked the school's regimentation and often had arguments with his school teachers. You can pause the video whenever required to match your writing pace. Question 3, Part 2. Einstein wanting to study in Switzerland rather than in Munich. Answer. Einstein wanted to study in German-speaking Switzerland rather than in Munich because Switzerland was a city that was much more liberal than Munich. Question 3, Part 3 Einstein seeing in Meleva an alley. Answer Einstein found Meleva Merrick to be a clever creature. Einstein saw in her an ally, a friend against Philistines, that is, the people in Einstein's family and at the university with whom he was constantly at odds. Question 3, Part 4 what do these tell you about Einstein? Answer, the above things tell us that Einstein was a genius 
and a very liberal person who liked freedom. He was a person who had his own view about life. Question 4. What did Einstein call his desk drawer at the patent office? Why? Answer. Einstein called his desk drawer at the patent office the Bureau of Theoretical Physics. While he was supposed to be assessing other people's inventions, Einstein was actually developing his own ideas in secret and his draw had all the evidences which could reveal the secret. Question 5. Why did Einstein write a letter to Franklin Roosevelt? Answer. Einstein wrote a letter to the American president Franklin D. Roosevelt because he wanted to warn America that Germany had the ability to build and use an atomic bomb which if exploded in a port would destroy not only the entire port but also some of the surrounding territories. Question 6. How did Einstein react to the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Answer. The atomic bomb devastated the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Einstein was deeply shaken by the extent of the destruction and wrote a public missive to the United Nations and proposed the formation of a world government. Question 7. Why does the world remember Einstein as a world citizen? Answer. The world remembers Einstein as a world citizen because he agitated for an end to the arms build-up and used his popularity to campaign for peace and democracy. Thus, he is celebrated as a visionary and world citizen as much as a scientific genius. Question 8. Here are some facts from Einstein's life. Arrange them in chronological order. Try to do this question by yourself and then you can match the sequence with this slide. Mark this answer or the sequence in the book itself with pencil. Einstein publishes his special theory of relativity. Number 7. He is awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. It will come as line number 9. Einstein writes a letter to U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt and warns against Germany's building of an atomic bomb. Number 11. Einstein attends a high school in Munich. Number 2. Einstein's family moves to Milan. Number 3. Einstein is born in the German city of Ulm. Number 1. Einstein joins a university in Zurich where he meets Meleva. Number 5. Einstein dies. Number 12. He provides a new interpretation of gravity. Number 8. Tired of the school's regimentation, Einstein withdraws from school. Number 4. He works in a patent office as a technical expert. Number 6. When Hitler comes to power, Einstein leaves Germany for the United States. Number 10. 
thinking about language page number 51 you can do first and second question of this part in the book itself with pencil number 1 here are some sentences from the story choose the word from the brackets which can be substituted for the italicized words in the sentences number 1 a few years later the marriage faltered faltered can be substituted by the word became weak underline became weak number 2 einstein was constantly at odds with people at the university at odds can be substituted by the term on bad terms underline it number 3 the newspapers proclaimed his work as a scientific revolution proclaimed can be replaced by declared underline declared number 4 einstein got ever more involved in politics agitating for an end to the arms build up here agitating could be replaced by campaigning number 5 at the age of 15 einstein felt so stifled that he left the school for good for good could be substituted by permanently underline permanently number 6 5 years later the discovery of nuclear fission in berlin had american physicist in an uproar in an uproar could be substituted by the term in a state of commotion underline in a state of commotion number 7 science was in the only thing that appealed to the dashing young man with the walrus mustache here appealed could be replaced by interested so underline interested second question study the following sentences einstein became a gifted amateur violinist maintaining the skill throughout his life second illustration let us survive in which they put their affection into words mixing signs with tenderness the parts in italics in the above sentences begin with ing verbs and are called participle phrases participle phrases say something more about the person or thing talked about or the idea expressed by the sentence as a whole for example Einstein became a gifted amateur violinist. He maintained this skill throughout his life. Complete the sentences below by filling in the blanks with suitable participle clauses. The information that has to be used in the phrases is provided as a sentence in brackets. you can do this question also in the book with pencil number 1 dash the firefighters finally put out the fire the sentence that need to be converted into participle phrase or participle clause is they worked round the clock here the verb is worked this need to be converted into ing form okay so the sentence will become working round the clock the firefighters finally put out the fire number 2 she watched the sunset above the mountain dash the sentence that has to be converted into participle phrase is she noticed the colors blending softly into one another so here the verb that need to be converted is noticed into ing form so the sentence will become she watched the sunset above the mountain and the participle phrase will be noticing the colors blending softly into one another number 3 the excited horse pawed the ground rapidly dash the sentence given here is while it neighed continually so the verb here is neighed that need to be converted into ing form so it will become neighing continually the excited horse pawed the ground rapidly neighing continually 
dash number four dash i found myself in bangalore instead of banaras sentence that to be converted is i had taken the wrong train so here the verb that need to be converted is had will be converted into ing form okay so it will become having taken the wrong train i found myself in bangalore instead of banaras number 5 dash i was desperate to get to the bathroom i had not bathed for two days is the sentence that to be converted same as above in the question number 4 as we converted had into having same will be done here also so the phrase will be having not bathed for two days i was desperate to get to the bathroom number 6 the stone steps dash needed to be replaced and the sentence is they were worn down okay here were will be converted into ing form and it will become being the stone steps being worn down needed to be replaced number 7 the actor received hundreds of letters from his fans dash the sentence that need to be changed is they asked him to send them his photograph so here the verb that has to be converted into ing form is asked okay now let's see the sentence the actor received hundreds of letters from his fans asking him to send them his photograph now take page number 53 writing newspaper reports you can practice this in your grammar section of the notebook here are some notes which you could use to write a report we have to write a newspaper report and some outline is given here we can use these outline to create our report 21st august 2005 original handwritten manuscript of albert einstein unearthed by student rowdy boynick in the university of the netherlands boynick researching papers papers belonging to an old friend of einstein fingerprints of einstein on these papers 16 page document dated 1924 einstein's work on this last theory behavior of atoms at low temperature now known as the bohr's einstein condensation the manuscript to be kept at leiden university where einstein got the nobel prize write a report which has four paragraphs one each on what was unearthed who unearthed it and when what the document contained where it will be kept your report could begin like this student unearths einstein's manuscript this could be the title or heading of the newsletter or report here one hint is given how to begin your report 21st august 2005 an original handwritten albert einstein manuscript has been unearthed at a university in the netherlands and so on i have created a report here for your practice you can just go through it and you can write accordingly yourself in the grammar section student unearths einstein's manuscript 21st august 2005 an original handwritten albert einstein manuscript has been unearthed at a university in the netherlands this could be your first paragraph second paragraph it was unearthed by a student rowdy bonick while researching papers when he came across some papers belonging to an old friend of einstein third paragraph the 16 page document dated 1924 contained fingerprints of albert einstein it has einstein's work on this last theory 
that is the behavior of atoms at low temperature which is now known as the bose einstein condensation and the last paragraph could be the manuscript will be kept at leiden university where einstein got the nobel prize now let's do some writing practice i will dictate you three paragraphs which you have to note down in your grammar section of the notebook with correct spelling and correct punctuation marks you can pause the video whenever you need to match your writing speed as i told you earlier first paragraph in 1931 charlie chaplin invited albert einstein who was visiting hollywood to a private screening of his new film city lights as the two men drove into town together passer by waved and cheered chaplin turned to his guest and explained the people are applauding you because none of them understands you and applauding me because everybody understands me paragraph 2 one of einstein's colleagues asked him for his telephone number one day einstein reached for a telephone directory and looked it up you don't remember your own number the man asked startled paragraph 3 no einstein answered why should i memorize something i can so easily get from a book in brackets in fact Einstein claimed never to memorize anything which could be looked up in less than 2 minutes. So with this the exercise of a truly beautiful mind is over. Thank you.